Uh, but hopefully, you know, uh, I, mean, I don't know whether we're privy to the starting eleven. Yeah, no, that's yeah, that's the that's the front three. Um, Payet's not a bad player, to no. be honest. Uh, no, he's, no, no, he's, no. he's 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 quite dangerous. So I think that's France are spoilt as far as uh, the choice. Uh, yeah, the, the talented players they have. Um, also, looking at the defence, he I mean, wasn't even in the squad originally, but somehow he's found his way into the starting lineup because of injuries. So he must have impressed in training. Alongside Kashelny, we all know about him. Sagni and Evra. They've been around for a long time, they have experience, but uh, again, that's an area where other teams may look to exploit them. We all know about the goalkeeper, Hugo Lloris, he's actually one of the best goalkeepers in the world, the uh, as we've seen. So, it's a very good France team. Let's talk yeah. about N'Golo Kante, this young, dynamic, you know, I mean, running machine, because to me, he's a, he's a machine. And effective for Leicester, um, what could be his role in this French team tonight? I think today you could see... Um, Romania will try to shut up the shop, but then it will be the case of players like Kante who will try to join the midfield from deep. So as far as his natural role, if you say a holding midfielder, that's where people would look at him as. But I think in a game like today, he would probably need to make the difference because the team they're playing will sit deep. Maybe there won't be too much space. So when Kante gets on the ball, he has to be able to pick out good passes. He has Pogba next to him. He has Matuidi next to him. They can all do it, but uh, the, the onus will be on him more of an attacking uh, impetus. But We've all seen, we all watch the Premier League and we know that you can do that as well. Okay. We'll have to wait and see.